welcome back everyone so there comes a time for each and every windows user where they fall in a problem like windows is not booting up giving any kind of blue screen or you forget your password or you lose any of your important data and of course if your pc get infected with any kind of malware infection or any kind of ransomware attack so it's always a good idea that you should be prepared for these kind of problem and today in this video I will be helping you to create two important bootable USB that will be taking care of all the problem in the future. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So the very first bootable USB that I would recommend you is the Windows Portable USB. Now Windows Portable USB is a kind of USB that you can plug into any other device and you can start enjoying that particular operating system. Now this can be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11, whichever you want to create. And as I said, this USB can be really gem for the people who do a lot of traveling or who are not available with their computer all the time. So what they can do, they can create a portable USB, store all their important data and document inside that portable USB and then they can plug into any other computer and start accessing their information, their data or whatever they want to access. Not only this, there are many other uses like you can fix many kind of problem. You can do many kind of data recovery. And even if you have issues with the Windows 11, like I have seen many people while playing the game Valorant on Windows 11, they get some kind of error like TPM and the secure boot error. So what you can do, you can create the bootable USB, the portable USB of Windows 10, plug into the device, install the Valorant game on Windows 10 and start enjoying it. And now in order to create a portable USB, you will have to download the ISO or Windows 10 or Windows 11, whichever you want to download. Click on the Microsoft link, choose the multi edition, then click on download, choose the product language, click on confirm and then click on 64 bit download and the downloading will be started. Or similarly, you have to download your own ISO that you want to make a portable USB. And once the ISO is being downloaded, you have to download another software that is Rufus, a very popular tool. Here scroll down a bit and click on Rufus 4.5.exe. And this is a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. Now here from the top menu option, you will have to select the USB that you want to make a portable USB. In the boot selection, click on select. Now locate to the place where you have downloaded the ISO. Select the ISO. Now in the image option, instead of a standard Windows installation, you have to click on the drop down and choose Windows to go. Partition scheme, you can keep it to GPT and then you have to click on start. Now it gives you some kind of options here that what kind of portable USB of what addition you want to create. So I will go with Windows 10 Pro, but if you want to create for any other, then you can select it. Click on OK. Make sure the prevent windows to go from accessing internal disk is being unchecked. If you want to create any local account automatically, you can check this option. If you want to disable the data collection, then you can check it. Then click on OK. Click on OK. And now this will start creating the portable USB for you. And after that, once the process has been completed, you can take out the USB, connect to any computer and start enjoying it. Now I have created a detailed video on this topic. So if you want to go ahead and create it, then watch that video in order to find out that how exactly it work. All right. So now the next USB that I would recommend you is of course a very popular bootable USB solution called Ventoy. And Ventoy is an open source tool to create a bootable USB for multiple operating system. Like you can store a uh, Linux, Windows, Iron, TailOS, depending what all kind of operating system you want. And now why I'm recommending you this Ventoy USB because with this single USB you can install any kind of operating system and you can do many kind of troubleshooting like fixing any kind of blue screen, doing the data recovery, resetting or removing the Windows login password that is a very common problem and so on. There are many things that you can do with the Ventoy. Now in order to create a Ventoy USB, you will have to come to this website, click on downloads. Then click on the first link Ventoy 1.099 windows.zip and it will take you to the SourceForge page. Click on download latest version. Wait for 5 seconds and the downloading will be automatically started. 
and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded and it will be downloaded in a zip file so open the downloaded folder right click on it click on extract all click on extract and now you will be getting the ventoi folder just double click on it now it will find ventoi to disk.exe make a right click on it and click run as admin click on yes and this kind of simple dashboard will be up all right so in the device section it will automatically detect the pen drive that you have connected if you have not connected then connect it and again from the drop down you can choose the right usb that you want to make the ventoi usb now once you have selected just click on install click on yes click on yes and it will take few seconds only and convert this usb into a ventoi usb and you can see that it was very quick and it says congratulations ventoi has been successfully installed to the device so click on ok now you can close it now the next time when you bring up the file explorer so you can see the name of this sandisk usb has been changed to ventoi now next what you have to do you need to add all the iso in this ventoi usb that you want to enjoy as a bootable usb now for example i can add windows 11 iso then you can add windows 7 windows 10 you can download all of them and the one i recommend the most that is very important is the iron cd you can click on this one this website and here you can click on download then scroll down to the bottom and you will find hbcdp x64 dot iso you can click on it and the downloading will be started it is around 3.1 gigabyte all right so once you have downloaded all the iso so you can see i have all the iso here so depending on you that whichever iso you want to add in this ventoi usb you can download and store it and once the ventoi usb is ready with all the operating system now you can connect this ventoi usb to any other computer where you want to install any kind of operating system or you want to do any kind of troubleshooting so connect the usb change the boot priority order and boot with the bootable usb now the next time when the ventoi page will be coming up it will display all the operating system that you have saved in the ventoi usb now depending on your requirement you can choose any of the usb here so let's say if you want to do any kind of troubleshooting then you can select the hb cd that is the iron bootable cd and hit the enter key and it will take some time to load up so you will have to wait and from here you can check out their tool you can do any kind of data recovery or you can fix any kind of malware or any kind of viruses and even you can change the password of your windows account and you can even reset or remove the windows login password and so there are many uses of it i've already created a video on this topic as well kindly check the video that how to create a proper bootable usb of ventoy and it's always recommended that you should have these two kind of important usb with you so that you can be always prepared for fixing many kind of problem and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye